الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر توكل الله توكل الله توكل الله يا شباب يلا 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 يا شباب يلا يا شباب الله أكبر الله أكبر What's really happening in Syria, in Libya, why these countries are in chaos? Have you wondered what is the Arab Spring? Have you wondered why are Islamic jihadists trying to terrorize the world? Where did they come from? Where did they get all these weapons and all this fanaticism? Would you believe? that the whole thing was orchestrated by the CIA, the US, NATO countries like France, Israel, Saudi Arabia, just to destabilize countries that were trying to be independent and sovereign and follow their own way and not be puppets of Wall Street. Now this is the story of how ISIS came to be. After the US invaded Iraq, they had a problem of insurgency. What they did was create death squads to have the Sunnis and the Shia, Shias killing each other. George Bush sent Negro Ponti an amb as, as ambassador, who was the man who was behind the death squads in Honduras years before. So ISIS were the Sunni death squads, and the government were the Shia death squads. These people were then brought into Libya. There was a fake rebellion there, the so-called Arab Spring. Fake stories about Gaddafi shooting his own people. Fake stories about chemical weapons. After they toppled that regime and destroyed Libya, made the most prosperous country in Africa into a kind of Somalia with warlords fighting each other, those Libyans came to Syria. There they started another fake revolution, supposedly for democracy. In fact, these people were just the Muslim Brotherhood plus these Al-Qaeda types from Libya. They were being armed by the US, uh, armed web weapons being brought over from Jordan, there was never a peaceful revolution in Syria. From day one, they were shooting at the army. The way they did it is they had snipers on the roofs, shooting both the police and the demonstrators so that the police would shoot the demonstrators. From there, they practically took over the whole country. Syria would have become the world capital of extremism and terrorism if it were not for Russia. That's why you hear nothing but anti-Russian propaganda today. Thank you. Now, if you're interested in to learn more about this story, you can read it all in this book, which I edited, published, partly wrote, ISIS is US, The Shocking Truth About the Army of Terror. It's available on the internet, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, bookstores, wherever. The truth about ISIS, the truth about the Arab Spring. Thank you.